Freeway driving. We're going to talk about that, all parts of the freeway. Uh, the freeway, it's not too tough. The toughest part is getting onto the freeway. And when you're on the ramp, the yellow cars there, you're going to start up here at about, you know, 20 miles an hour. So as you're coming down the ramp, you want to use the ramp to get up to your speed. As you're driving along this yellow car, they're going to be looking way back. A lot of people make the mistake of not looking at all, and then they have a problem when they get down to the end of the ramp. So you want to be looking back over your shoulder, but you want to look really far back because the cars that are going to be coming up next to you are going to be going about 60 to 65. You're going 35 at about this point. So they're going to catch up to you much quicker and be uh, out of your way. So as you get closer, though, you should be at about 60 to 65 or close to the end, uh, close by, by the end of the ramp, and you're going to be looking just over your shoulder to see if you have room. This car, this yellow car at the bottom would need to hit the gas to join because they want to be at top speed or at freeway speed just about at the end of that ramp. That's kind of your finish line, you're thinking. Now, you don't want to make an abrupt move and slide in too hard. You want to act like butter melting in a pan. Don't splash. Just nice and easy, come in at the speed with everyone else. Mistake that many young drivers make is they're cautious and they come in very slow, making all the other drivers react to them. Another mistake that we see in older drivers is we don't look. Nobody looks over their shoulder. They just look in the mirror and expect other people to move. It is your job to enter the freeway, not somebody else's job to let you get into the freeway. Always thinking smog. Um, so. Just like I said, it takes about you know five to ten seconds. It's not a big deal, but at the same time, we can make it a big deal. So here you see the freeway. Uh, the through lane is your left lane, or we also call it a passing lane, or sometimes it gets nicknamed the fast lane, even though it is not necessarily for going faster. There's no different speed limit. The exit lane or the slow lane is on the right, and usually we drive on the right and pass on the left, and it keeps traffic moving. Then you can see the exit goes uphill and the ramps usually go downhill. This is nice because the exit will slow you down as you come off this fast road, and then the ramp will speed you up. This is the usual formation. And then sometimes around Minneapolis, we have three lanes, the bigger cities. Fast lane, passing lane on the left. The through lane, you just wanna stay in that if you're just driving through the area, the slow lane or the exit lane on the right. I would suggest you stay in the slow lane or the exit lane because you do have this large space over here in case something were to happen or most of us aren't going to be driving that far and don't need to head to the left. The, the left is more for the people that are heading, the, le the left two lanes are more for the people heading through the area and not, you know, going, maybe going state to state, not just getting on and off the ramps for general shopping trips and whatnot. First type of ramp, the diamond, you're going to be able to uh, get off of the diamond pretty easily. You'll be here, you can exit, come to a stop here, you can take a right, a left, or you could get back on if you needed to, pretty easy. The clover leaf, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be coming through here. If you go north, you just take this road, but that's the only choice. If you're gonna go straight through, obviously here, and south, you would have to come through and wrap around this and then head south. And we'll talk about that little area right in here. It's kind of, it's called the weave lane. It can get a little bit tougher. Then this, you'd be looking at, I want to get off. I can go north. I can go south. If I need to go back on the freeway, I need to get back on this and uh, pull around. Usually there's some kind of business taking up that space. That's why we can't use that. Now, when you do get onto the freeway, the in the clover leaves, there are going to be cars going on and there's going to be cars going off. The rule of thumb is this. This car getting on, they're building speed, so they get to go first. The car going off is losing speed, so they should go a second. So if they are tied at this point, this car should go first because they have the more of the gear of getting up to speed. This one is braking. So this one should be first. This car should be second. Pretty easy rule, but some people need to be reminded from time to time. 